In this video, we will show you how to automatically generate invoices. We will set up an automation that takes data already entered into your CRM system or other databases and then automatically insert this data into an invoice template. In practice, it works like this. For example, when you change the status of your deal in the CRM to the invoice stage, the completed invoice will automatically appear as a file attached to that deal. To build our automation, we will use Make.com, which is a tool for automating tasks between different apps. If you haven't tried Make.com yet, you can use the link in the description of this video to create a free Make account. We would greatly appreciate it if you use this link, as it can provide us with a commission if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan at no additional cost to you. Okay, so now let's proceed to set up the automation that generates invoices. So inside my Google Drive, I have this invoice template and a documents folder. If I get inside the invoice template, then you can see this is the invoice template that will be used for creating invoices. This is just a simple template that is not a real invoice, but the automation rules we will apply to this one can also be applied to real invoice templates which contain more information. In this invoice, we will insert data dynamically for the company, service name, and the price from the ClickUp. For that, inside my ClickUp, I have created a space called CRM, and inside the CRM space, we have created a list that is called deals. You can see there are four tasks like deal one, deal two, deal three, and deal four. And the priority of those deals are mentioned here that high, normal, urgent, high. And the company name is also there. And you can see the service that is ACO, branding, video production, social media marketing. And the price of each service is there. And the status of those deals are mentioned here. Lead offer, negotiation, invoice, and deal closed. Our make.com automation will trigger only when the status is changed to invoice. Let's move to make.com and try to create the automation from scratch. Inside the make.com, create a new scenario, name it as generate invoice, click on plus to create a module and the first thing is to establish connection with the ClickUp. So we'll be looking for ClickUp, click on ClickUp and we need to watch the task from ClickUp. It triggers when a specific task or subtask event happens. So choose this. And here it is asking for creating a webhook. So click on that. Create connection with the ClickUp account here. Then it is asking for the workspace you are using. This is my workspace name. And the next option is filter by. I want to filter by list. So click on list. Then again it will ask for the space name. Then my space name is CRM and then the folder that we'll be using and insert the list name and then the event type. So I should choose this one and now click on save and click on OK. Let's check if we are receiving data. Run the scenario once, move to ClickUp and change the status of some deal there. Move back to make.com, a bubble should appear on the top of the watch tasks module indicating that data was received. So you can click on it to view the data. Now we need to add another module and this module also will be from ClickUp. And now we need to select this get a task option because it retrieves details about a specific task or subtask. So choose this. This module is required because we need the data from the task in which a status change has been detected. But before doing that, we need to set up a filter here because we need to set up the criteria based on which the data will pass from this module to this module. So click on the chain and here you will have the option to set up a filter and level it as status invoice. Here we need to insert our condition. So click to history items and then move to after. Here we will select this status change that after status. So our condition will trigger when a status will change to invoice. So I need to write here invoice. That means it will only work when the status is changed to invoice. But if the status is changed to something else like lead or offer, then this filter will not allow the data to pass to the next module. Now click on OK. Click on get a task module. Here we need to insert the task ID. If I come to the left side and if I click on the task ID, then you can see this watch tasks module is pulsating. That means the data is coming from this watch tasks module. So choose this task ID and click on OK. Now let's check if we are receiving data. Run the scenario once and wait for new data. Move to ClickUp and here change the status of the deal one from offer to invoice. 
Now move back to make.com and here you can see as bubble is popped up on top of the watch task module and on top of the get a task modules that means the data was received and it passed through the filter because we changed the status to invoice if i click on the bundle then you will see that we have received some source of information in the description of this video you can find a link to our free automations essentials kit which contains a list of tools for building automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations so you can grab your free copy today just go to the link in the description of this video and now we need to create a document from our template i mean this template so for that add another module called google docs and and we'll be choosing this option that create a document from a template it creates a copy of an existing template document and replaces any tags like this like this this company service name or prices so select this i will leave these settings as they are and select where our invoice template is located now here it is asking for the values that we need to map. We need to map the company service name and the price and these three values will be inserted to the invoice template. In the places of these variables specific data will be entered. You can map which data should be entered in case of which variable. To create a variable in Google Docs you need to write curly braces. I mean double curly braces and then enter a variable name and end it with double curly braces. Now let's map our variable names. So the first value will be for company click on that come to custom fields and here you can see the company field so choose this field then next the service name again come back to the custom fields so choose this and the next one is price come to custom fields and choose price now mapping is completed now come back to the title and here we can create a title for our documents write it as invoice for the company and we want to take the company as a dynamic field so come back to custom fields and choose the company from here now where do you want to create the documents i want to create the documents inside my drive and i will choose the location to my documents folder so choose documents folder and now click on ok now the document will be created in a google doc format but we need to download it as a pdf format so for that add another module move to google docs here choose this download a document option in here choose the document id i'll be mapping my document id and just click on that from top you can see if i hover over this document id the last module is pulsating that means the data is coming from that module so choose this document id and the type choose the type of the document that means in which form you want to download it i want to download it in a pdf format so choose this pdf document click on ok after downloading the pdf file we don't want to keep the google docs inside our documents folder so we need to delete the document from the documents folder so move back to make.com and here add another module that is google docs and now we'll be deleting a document so choose delete a document you need to choose the document id so i can map the id and click on here and choose this document id and you can see that the google docs module is pulsating that means we are deleting the google docs document created from the template not the pdf document so don't be confused click on ok we have our pdf document and we need to upload this as an attachment of the clickup task so for that create another module and select clickup and from here we'll select this upload task attachment option this will add attachment to a task so select this and here the only thing you need is the task id so click on task id and go down and select the task id from here now it's okay here is the option that which file you want to upload we'll be uploading the pdf file that will be generated from the google docs download add document module i mean from that module so select this and click on ok now our whole automation is ready to give it a nice look click on auto align option now you can see the whole picture now to check if it is working click on the run once option and wait for new data move to click up and change the deal to status from offer to invoice come back to make.com and here you can see data is passing through the filter 
And now the whole scenario is completed. Move back to ClickUp, get inside this deal two. And here you can see the invoice is created as the name invoice for company B and all the variables have been replaced. You can see that bill two is company B and the description is here for that service. The service name is branding and the price for that service is 500. So the invoice is created correctly and you can see the company name is company B. The service is branding and the price for that service is 500. So our make automation is working, but this automation will only work if the status is changed to invoice. It will not work for others. So to check that, if I move to make.com and run the scenario once and wait for new data and move back to ClickUp. And now if I want to change the deal three from lead to negotiation, and if I come back to make.com, then I can see the data is received in the watch task module but it didn't pass through the filter because the filter will allow the data to pass through if the status is changed to invoice only if the data passed through the filter then get a task module will get the data from the task then it will create a document from our invoice template and after creating a document from the invoice template will convert it to a pdf document and after downloading this pdf document will delete the google docs that was saved inside this document folder and and at last we will upload this PDF file as a task attachment to the ClickUp. By the way, here we have the option to save our scenario. There is also an option to activate the scenario so it will run automatically. And when you click on schedule settings, you can choose exactly when it will run. In the schedule settings, you can decide whether the scenario should run immediately when the specific event happens or at a specified intervals like once a day. In the case of this automation, you need to activate the scheduling, toggle the scheduling on, and remember to keep the schedule setting run scenario immediately. If you'd like to learn more about automations, you can find a link to our free automations essentials kit in the description of this video. It contains a list of tools you can use to build automations and a list of educational resources from which you can learn more about automations. So you can grab your free copy today. Just go to the link in the description of this video.